Hey everyone, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today I have hacked into Adobe XD and found a cool little trick for you guys uh, to basically have delayed transitions and animations which aren't officially supported completely in Adobe XD right now. There aren't any complex animations or transitions and as you can see there's a delay in the animation of these elements and they come in as a wave and um, a simple trick that I'm going to show you so for that let's create a quick artboard which will be about uh, which you can have like a smaller artboard if you just want to try this out or you can create like a proper web artboard uh, that I've done in uh, Adobe XD but just for this tutorial we will create in an individual uh, two to three individual elements and we will then animate them and delay the animations uh, as the title says so let me just copy over these and let's create four of these in total perfect and um, let's just make these a purple i've already saved this purple color here and by the way i will be giving the adobe xd file down in the description so go ahead and download that file real quick and uh, these are squares now create a unique shape what I'm going to do is double click on these squares and uh, I'm just going to hold option or alt and just drag one of these circles uh, one of these anchor points completely in just like this perfect uh, same with this I will double click and, uh, and as you can see these little uh, drag points at the edge just hold option or alt and drag these uh, towards the center just like that so uh, that's another small little trick uh, so two tricks in one video that's a pretty awesome deal um, let me just drag this one last one as well and wait a second oops yeah, yeah so uh, now that we have these four shapes um, let me just make sure that, that it looks like a window <laughs> And um, now comes the slightly tricky part. So uh, focus on this part. Uh, I'll click on one of these elements and say Command D or Control D. And it will create a new duplicate here. So now we have two elements instead of one, one over the other. So I will select both of these and say Command Shift M or Control Shift M to mask these. Now this is a mask group 34. I'll just name it to uh, mask group one and just like that I will duplicate each one of these and make sure one is over the other and say command shift or control shift M to mask it basically we will create multiple masks uh, in this method uh, and I will skip where I've created all four masks okay I have created four masks in total mask one two three and four and as you can see each mask contains two elements one is the original and one is the masking element so um, the original will be at the bottom so for this practice to have delayed animations we will uh, basically reposition our uh, elements outside the box so as you can see it's going outside this menu and uh, we will make sure it's close uh, to the to the masked element right here to the mask here and so that it's you can't really see it anymore for the second one what we're gonna do is we will let's just take this here but what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it even further so make sure there's more distance between the mask and the element inside it uh, in the second element and so on and so forth so you just need to increase the distance uh, to create that delayed animation effect and the more the distance the more time it will take uh, for the element to reach uh, the mask perfect so now that we have this we will duplicate the artboard by saying command D or control D and for the second artboard as I can see nothing I will individually have to select these elements from here inside the uh, inside the layers panel and as you can see the last element is here I'll bring it in uh, it doesn't matter in what order you are dragging these just make sure that in the second artboard 
all of them come together uh, in their original state select each of these and make sure you drag them in perfect one last one yeah let me just drag this in perfect and um, to prototype this i will select this first artboard go to prototype mode right here and drag this arrow to the second artboard say tap auto animate from right here and you can see say i've selected ease out already and let me say one second so this animation will take one second to complete uh, let's br bring the second artboard's arrow uh, shall i bring it back no i'll just leave it like that uh, and let's try this out. Uh, so we have a tap trigger which will auto animate these elements. So go here, as you can see, if I tap anywhere on the screen here, yeah, see how there is a, let me show that to you once again, see how there's a little delay in the, in how each of these elements come to the center. Now this is a little trick, uh, using masking, you can do so much more I have created this calendar, I will be giving it down in the description, there's like a little calendar reminder setup, nothing too special, just uh, something to showcase or show off basically uh, delayed transitions and animation, see how all these delays are happening, I will give the Adobe XD file down in the description, if you like this video, give this video a huge thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And one last thing, hit that bell icon because that way you'll be able to see my videos before everyone else. I will be posting videos every Monday and every Thursday as usual and I'll see you in the next video next week. God bless.